open up. You open up. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another video of Polka Speaks. Um, I am so overwhelmed and excited with all of the feedback that I've been getting from the first video. Um, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go to my page, like the video, comment, share it, whatever you feel like you need to do. I appreciate it. I just appreciate the views in general. So even if you just watch it and keep it to yourself, I appreciate you anyway. Um, so with that being said, make sure that you like, subscribe to my page. Make sure you click that little bell so that you get an alert every single time that I post something. And um, make sure that you're, you're keeping up with what I got to say, okay? Because I got to say a lot. There's a lot to say, a lot to get through. Alright. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay? Okay. Alright. So, this video is going to be about soul ties, Okay? Now, a lot of times we hear the word soul ties and we automatically think that is, again, negatively affecting us or whatever the case is. Soul ties aren't always negative, okay? There's different types of soul ties and depending on the relationship and the person is what can make it a negative soul tie, all right? So, first, let me explain what a soul tie is for those who are like, what are you talking about, sis? Let me explain. So, a soul tie is a transfer of energy from one person to another, right? Because we are beings of energy, right? Because we are really just, we're, we're soul, right? Now, this is our flesh. If you go to church, you know about the flesh, you know about the soul. For people who don't go to church, regardless, you are a soul, okay? Your exterior is a shell, and for real, for real, the person who lives within your soul, that's who you really are, okay? This is just the appearance. This is just the shell. This is like a crab when they shed their old shell and they get a new one. That's what we think as Christians. That's what we f we know as Christians happens to us when we go to heaven. We shed our exterior and we are a soul, okay? We are pure at that point, right? So, now that we understand what a soul tie is, there are five types of soul ties, okay? Now, a lot of people only know the sexual soul tie. So, when you have unprotected unprotected sex with someone at that point your energy has joined and now you are forever tied to that person however unprotected sex is not the only way you can get a soul tie sexually okay that's a lot of people don't know and two sexual soul ties are not the only ones that exist so what are the other four glad you asked okay so, and if you see me looking down, it's because I, I had to write this stuff down because I will forget, okay? So, the other four are biological, social, emotional, spiritual, and actually it's physical. So, there's five. So, sexual is a part of the emotional and physical soul tie, okay? So, let's start with biological soul ties, okay? We're going to start from the, the, the beginning, okay? Now, biological soul tie basically means anyone biologically related to you that you have a connection with, right? So, it can be your brother, your mom, the people who you are mostly around, who you see all the time, the family members, people who are biologically related to you. You have soul ties to that, those people, okay? Um, you can even have soul ties biologically to a parent you've never met or a grandparent you've never met or someone who has died and went on in your family before you. Your soul can still be tied to them because it's biological. So this is something that runs through the blood, okay? This is something that comes from within we can't do nothing about these soul ties 
okay biological soul ties we all have them we can't help them because unfortunately we had to come through somebody to get here right so that's just a soul tie you can't really do nothing about now that doesn't mean that it's a negative thing it's a positive thing if that's your family you know how something can be happening to one family member but you don't know it yet but you can feel it that's because your souls are connected okay biologically you're connected to that person that's why you know sometimes my mom is feeling the type of way or even for mothers with children you know when something is wrong with your baby okay your baby can be out of town your baby can be down the street your baby don't have to be around you your baby can be out the country but you can feel as a mother when something is wrong with your child that's the soul tie okay your soul is tied to their soul and when their soul hurts your soul hurts you can feel it right so those are biological soul ties nothing wrong with those at all okay they there can be some negative soul ties um biological soul ties like if you're tied to a person in your family that you don't really care for but you can't help to feel them sometimes we go through that like we we really don't like this family member but when they hurt we can't help but to hurt when something's wrong with them we can't help but to feel some type of way like some people can look at that as a negative but regardless of the fact it's your family you know what i'm saying and things do happen with family i'm not excusing family because anybody who know me know how i am with just because it's family you better still put your foot on their neck and hold them responsible for what they did that's that's i'm all about responsibility i don't care who it comes from um but with biological soul ties there's nothing really we can do about it i mean you are biologically tied to that person it's so nothing you can do about it um so the next one we're going to talk about is um i want to go i'm gonna skip social i'm gonna come back to social and i'm gonna come back to i'm gonna do physical next so physical soul ties are the ones that we are most familiar with okay um physically you can engage with someone and exchange energies right what we fail to understand first of all is you cannot physically touch everybody period okay a lot of people are so extra friendly and we like to shake hands and give out hugs you can't touch everybody you know why because you can take on their energy okay my hair is like right now it needs to be done but you take on people's energy and it can come simply from a touch okay like my pastor which is my grandmother tells us all the time be careful who you let touch you don't let everybody touch you and don't let everybody in your space because that's when we get into spiritual soul ties don't let everybody in your space don't let everybody touch you okay because a lot of times we think it's just sexual we think that aspect of physical is the only way we can get soul ties no okay no you can touch people you can hold their hand you can embrace people and they can subconsciously give you what they got you don't want that okay so you need to make sure the people that you engage with physically on any level have number one your best interest at heart if you don't know that then don't touch them okay if you can't answer basic questions like do this person really like me do this person really care for me even the people that you just meet be very careful about the hands that you shake a lot of times um before we go into to different situations because some of us have careers where we can't help but to be around people and if we don't shake a hand or hug or engage in some type of capacity we can look shady or it can come off a certain way and we have to be professional completely understand that or it can be again family or friends or different people in your in your life in your space that you you know you feel like if well if i come on shania if i don't engage with them you know what i'm saying i'm gonna look crazy okay <laughs> okay this is how you fix that number one pray okay pray to god for discernment ask him to give you stellar vision 
when it comes to discerning who you can engage with on a certain level and who you can't ask god to this is this is how i pray god you know how i see god you know how i think you know how i understand so whoever don't need to be around me make it clear for me based on my understanding okay make it clear for me to decipher who these people are from the people who should be around me the positive people in my life and god will show you he will open your eyes and he will start making you pay attention to the littlest things it'd be the smallest things that can be the difference between someone saying that they really love and care for you and they really do and somebody saying it and for real they hating on you and they feel some type of way. It be the smallest things that separate those people. And a lot of times we get support confused. People support us and people, you know, they say that they're there for us, they're, they're there for us and they call us friends and all type of stuff. And we get that confused or really thinking that these people really here for us and they not. Okay, so this video really is a lot about protecting your energy and the only way you can do that is when you learn the differences in energy, you understand the differences in soul ties and different ways that you can be connected to people because it's a lot of people that we are connected to that we don't need to be. Oof. Did y'all feel that? I felt that, okay? And it goes to everybody, even me too. You have to clear yourself. After years of messing with people and dealing with people and not knowing that soul ties are even possible, you know, it's a process. You have to first understand the issue. The issue is people have bad energy, okay? And if you know me, I'm all about protecting my energy. I don't play it. I will stay in my house all day all weekend i don't care i will be by myself but i have to protect my energy i have to protect my soul because when people penetrate your soul it's different from the flesh now the flesh is the stuff that you feel you know you you wear on your skin you you wear on your outside oh you got an attitude or stuff like that okay that, that that's your flesh getting upset we're talking about your soul you, you ever had you ever felt your soul ache have you ever felt that when it's it's so deep in there that you it's like you can't do nothing about it? That's your soul. When your soul aches and your soul is telling you something is wrong, that's when you got to pay attention. Because the flesh will get us in trouble and confuse us all the time. Every time. Okay? But when we get in tune with our soul, with our inner being, and we, we learn how to control that thing, that's true power, okay? And all that comes from the mind. We're going to get into all that. I'm rushing videos, y'all. I got I to gotta keep y'all every week. I'm giving you too much. All right, so um, physical. So, again, so physical soul ties are hugs, kisses, um, sexual intercourse. Um, what else? Anything with your physical features touching someone else's physical features. Okay, that's physical. Now, all physical soul ties, like I said, aren't bad. It depends on the energy of that person, right? A lot of times, we are physical with people and we create these soul ties with them, right? Based on physical. And what we forget to realize is your soul contains everything about you right my soul is who i am as a person right now if i'm saying that this is a a, a shell then who i really am is always on the inside that's why they say you know look at the inside of a person don't don't judge a book by its cover because your cover is your 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 body your cover is your exterior but your inside is your soul right everybody's soul ain't pure Everybody's soul ain't pure. So if you are physically engaging in activities with someone whose soul isn't pure, okay, and then you get up and a couple days later you start acting a fool and you don't understand why somebody you encountered gave you that negative energy. 
somebody you encountered took some of what they had and unconsciously put it on you and now you walking around some people for years different changed on the inside and can't figure out where it came from you don't know why all of a sudden you so insecure but you remember that one night stand you had you didn't really know him you didn't really know him at all but you were physical with him and he put that insecurity in you and you don't even remember his name or his number, sis. So you can't even call him and try to figure out what the heck then went wrong in his life that got him so insecure. Instead, you got to sit here and work through your newfound insecurities. That's how soul ties work. And as women, our baby making area is where life is created. It is the most powerful source of energy ever because this is where life is created. Okay? This is where life forms. This is where it gets its kickstart. So you are letting people with negative energy penetrate your life source, sis. And you trying to figure out while all of a sudden, you going crazy, you insecure, you can't keep a, you, you so worried about a man, you so worried about this, you so worried about that. Now, some of us, okay, you, you done got with this dude and he done did what he did and you done took on his, his negative energy. Along with you already having biological soul ties with some people like your daddy who, who already done messed you over and made you feel less than. Your mama, because some, for some women, it's issues with our mamas. Now, people don't like to talk about the issues with, with the mama, especially for females. You got issues with your mama. You, you got your, your, your great-great-grandmother down the line who was dropping it like it was hot and, and giving that thing up to everybody. So you got a mixture of these energies with, already within you that are biological. These are energies that you really can't help. It's, it's so much like generational curses, okay? Generational curses is nothing but a negative soul tie that has been sent down from generation to generation to generation. So these are things that you can't help but to encounter at some point in your life because it's, it's what you were made in. You were created in that energy. So now, with that being said, think about... You been out here messing with these dudes, letting them in your 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 private area, your 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 baby making machine, and they shooting off that energy that is now being absorbed inside of you. And when you get pregnant, your baby is baking in that mess. Oof, it's hot. Okay, I'm not gonna get no amens on this video because it hit me first. I was feeling like the dumb, dumb, dumb first, okay? So I know y'all feeling it. Jesus. Y'all babies been brewing in negativity. Because you done let this random dude up in your space when you already had daddy issues, sis. So you can't help but to go out here and try to look for what you don't have. Or some of us look for the daddy we do got. So, if your daddy then neglected you and put you down, why are you out here looking for the same thing? Why are you with a dude that neglects you and put you down if that's what your daddy did and you know you don't want that? Confusion. Turmoil. Sis. It's a mess. Let's get off of physical because I got to be on physical all day. All right. Let's go to spiritual. Now, spiritual soul ties. Spiritual soul ties are, how can I explain it? So a spiritual soul tie is connecting on a spiritual level. So this is when you are in tune with your soul, okay? So a spiritual soul tie could be a religious relationship. 
It could be um, a soul tie that you have with your pastor. This can be a tie that you have with someone who is equally as spiritual. This is connecting on a spiritual level. So this is different than physical, which is basic touch. This is different from emotional, which is in your feelings. This is different from biological, which is something that you can't control. Just something passed down. This is different from social, which is the people around you that, like, friends and people that you, you, you know, talk to. Spiritual is a higher level soul tie. So this is someone who you are tied to in the spirit. Okay? Um, a lot of us do have these soul ties which could be you know some of us have encounters with ghosts or with spirits of the past some of us have um family members that always come visit us who have gone on some of us um can be you know can have just lost someone who was really 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 close to us like a best friend who may have passed on and you can always feel their presence or just you feel in the presence of, of the spirit realm in general, okay? That's the soul tie to the spiritual world. Now, this is where the physical sneaks back in. Because if you're connected to someone demonic or someone whose soul has ill intentions and they are negative, this is also a spiritual soul tie. Because not everybody who look good is good on the inside. Which is why I just said you can't judge a book by its cover. So, if you are connected to someone whose spirit is negative or demonic, okay? You can take on that demonic spirit, that demonic energy, that negative energy. Okay, like this is also now. I mean, this this is more common. You ever invited somebody to your house, right? And when they leave, it's like the atmosphere is different. You ever been around somebody and their atmosphere, like they make the atmosphere feel a little different, like. It, and it works both ways. You can be around somebody who always makes light like when they come around it's like ah, it's like joy it's like oh my god i feel so much better like whatever i was feeling has been lifted there was a positive energy positive spiritual people okay those that's a positive spiritual soul tie right because their soul is connected to you so when they come around their spirit is happy. Their spirit is, is enthusiastic. Their spirit is bubbly. And because y'all souls are connected, you can't help but to feel the same. Right? But when they're negative and they come to your, your personal space, women, stop letting everybody lay in your bed. Oof. I'm killing y'all today. <laughs> Stop letting everybody lay in your bed. Because you can get spiritual soul ties from people just laying in your bed. Now, think about it. They lay in this bed, regardless if y'all do anything or not. I'm talking about as simple as somebody sitting on your bed and y'all having a conversation. I'm talking about as, as little as you allowing people, somebody to come into your house. And have a seat on your couch. They can still bring a negative spirit in there. And change up everything. Especially with these men that y'all let lay in y'all bed. Or sit on y'all bed. Or come in y'all room. And you lay down at night. And you trying to figure out why you woke up feeling the whole another type of way. Because you done laid and you done brewed overnight. And whatever spirit they done left in your bed. You done brewed in it, and you done got real comfortable and real familiar with it, okay? And now you waking up, and you a mess. And you ain't, you trying to figure out, I mean, I ain't touched nobody. I done did nothing with nobody. It don't matter. It don't matter. Now, those are spiritual soul ties. This, these are soul ties that I don't even got to touch you. 
Because my, my energy is letting off whatever's going to let off. And because you so weak. Because a lot of us, our souls, we, we haven't built our souls up to be strong. And in another video, I'm going to get to how you do that. But you have to build your soul up to be strong, to be able to identify. And this is why I say you have to pray for discernment of spirit. That's why it's in the Bible, discernment of spirit. Spirit, it don't say discernment of people because you being a person don't matter. It's your soul, it's your spirit that counts. That's what makes you who you are. Your spirit is what has you living, breathing, and moving. Not your, your body, not this brown face. Because my soul is clear. Can't see my soul. But your spirit is what controls everything. It's what gives off everything. So you need to have a discernment of spirit because when you can discern someone's spirit, that exterior don't mean nothing. That means if it's, if it's a fine thing, okay? I'm talking about tall, dark skin, pretty teeth. I'm getting all into my own teeth because that's what I want, tall, dark skin. Point is, okay, if he looked that good, I'm not going to be all done up and falling out over that. Because I'm going to discern his spirit. So you can come to me looking however you want to look. You can be the finest thing. But I'm going to send you on your merry way. Because your spirit and my spirit, they not clicking. God is telling me I don't need to be fooling with you. Because you real pretty on the outside. But you got some stuff with you up, up on this inside. Okay? That's what discernment of spirit is. And that's what spiritual soul ties are. All right. Let's get to social. So social soul ties are soul ties of people who you are socially engaged with. So this can be um, a friend, a best friend. This can be someone that you do a lot of talking to. So someone who you communicate with very often. This can be, excuse me, this can be anyone who you have social interactions with. So that means someone who you... You know, social is, is communicating, going out with, right? And I like to think to my understanding, first of all, all of these soul ties are connected in some way, shape, or form, right? Social can go along with spiritual because if I'm around you all the time and we talk all the time, your spirit can also, you know, we can also have a spiritual soul tie because our spirits are conversing as well. Our spirits are exchanging energies and information as well. And that's pretty much what a social soul tie is. These are people who aren't biologically related to you, but you around them a lot, you're with them a lot. These are best friends. These are cousins that's not really cousins. These are aunties that ain't aunties. These are all them people who, who you close to, who you around, who you socialize with. Now, this can also be strangers that you talk to. Okay? Like I said, don't let everybody touch you. Don't let everybody in your space, and you can't talk to everybody. I'm sorry. Like, you know, as, as females especially, we try to see the good in everybody, and we try to give everybody chances and opportunities. No! If they don't mean you no good, why you stop? The best thing you can do is walk away from them. That's the best thing you can do for you and them. And as women, we do a lot of soul exchanging. Oh, my gosh. Anybody who we meet who is cool within the first couple hours, we already planning out a wedding. We planning out what they're going to look like, what our kids might look like. Like, women, our mind goes 0 to 100, like, instantly. And you try to figure out why... Since this person came around you, you're decreasing and they're increasing because you swapped energy with this person. All of them, this is also social. All of them, them conversations, the negative conversations that they gave you, all of them, them, you know, the negative things that they talked about with you and that they put on you and made you, because you, you wanted to be, and this, is, this was my issue. I want to be Captain Save a, a, a nigga. Sorry to who's watching if you feel some type of way about the N-word. I'm black and I can, I can say it. But I wanted to be Captain Saving Nigga. I wanted to be the female who was able to say, oh, I changed him. When he got with me, he changed. I, I made him different. 
And you know how I did that? When I talked to them, every time they was going through, I'm listening. And I, subconsciously, I'm taking in all of that negative. All the negative that they're going through. Oh, boo, you depressed. Oh, you got this going on. Oh, you got this going on with your parents. Oh, you got anxiety. Oh, you got this. Oh, you insecure. Oh, you got daddy issues too. Oh, you got mommy issues. Oh, you got this. And then when I'm done, they feel better. And now I'm I'm weighted down with all the crap they didn't put on me. What? Return to sender. Get our stuff back to them. That's not yours to have. Why as females do we take on other people's problems so easily? And we the ones that's messed up too. If I'm messed up, how am I help you? I can't help you. Well, what can I do for you? Because obviously, I'm not even taking my own advice if my life is in shambles. So you come and you, I, I'm trying to play Dr. Phil to you. Whole time, I'm living like holiday heart. And I got all these issues because my mother on crack, she a crackhead. And I got all this stuff going on with me. All right, let's be real. I got my own set of issues, okay? And because my daddy gave me this negative soul tie from his daddy and his daddy gave it to him now i'm in the world all messed up and now because i feel all messed up because of the men who weren't in my life now when i see you i want to give you everything that i couldn't give them i'm looking for them and you so now i want to be your doctor feel your eon levon's aunt no i don't i don't i don't want to be that no i don't and I had to learn that. Why am I trying to save a man? I, how can I save a man? I'm a female, first of all. And a better female, if you are a better female or a female who has not yet taken the proper control over your situation emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, biologically, if you haven't sorted through all of those areas in your life, it's no way you can be of help to anybody. You can be encouraging, but you can't solve their issues for them. It's no way. It's no way. Because you haven't even solved yours. So what advice are you giving up? That don't make sense. So now you're taking your, your, your mess that you already then been created in and brewed in and lived in for nine months and then been birthed into a family that's even worse and they got their own soul ties because y'all got different daddies and different mamas so you got different families different generations different places all up in you and you ain't even sorted that out yet but you try to help this man with his issues and now you trying to figure out why the little bit of peace you had is now gone because you didn't gave it to him when you should have just been continuously going through your progress through through your process and get obtaining the utmost level of peace and understanding and knowledge of yourself the church is not going to say amen. Good God Almighty. I didn't say amen because it hurt my feelings first. It's people that I'm still connected to. And you know how you can you you know how you can tell that you're still connected to certain people? Go years without talking to them. This can be somebody that hurt your heart, broke your heart. I mean, did you dirty? Go a couple years without talking to them. When y'all reconnect, it's like you feel the same stuff that you used to feel all over again. It's all coming back. It's like ain't no time even been spent apart. It's like, nigga, I ain't talked to you in three years and you still want to just argue with me? And we just say hi? It's like that. Or I ain't talked to you in all this time and you still going through the same problems you've been going through? Or I ain't talked to you in all these years, and once I get on the phone with you, here you go with that negative stuff. And now I, I feel all bad, and now I'm back intertwined in this web that I freed myself from before. They energy ain't changed. So why you back there? What you back there for? What you back there for? All right. Last one, Emotional. Emotional soul ties are soul ties that you share with someone from an emotional standpoint. 
So it could be, let's say, if I'm in a relationship, right? Um, this can be as simple as marriage. When you marry the person, now you have an emotional soul tie with that person. Um, a lot of the times, like I said, a lot of these intertwine with each other. So me being biologically connected to my family, I also have an emotional soul tie to them. So when they hurt, I hurt, I feel it. The, the, the connection, the physical connection would be the physical soul tie, right? Or the biological connection would be what ties us biologically. However, the emotional soul tie can show the extent of our relationship. Because I can be biologically connected to you, but not have no emotional soul tie to you. So that's like that auntie that you know that you got, that you see all the time, that you cool with. But if she in the hospital, it's like, oh, dang, she in the hospital, dang, that's sad. You don't feel no type of way about it because y'all not emotionally connected. You don't really care. But the thing with emotions, you can be emotionally connected to anybody. I could be emotionally connected to uh, somebody I've seen on a YouTube video and I'm sympathetic to them. And, you know, because we had I established an emotional connection to that person. Let me also explain this. Soul ties don't have to be mutual. Amen, lights. Soul ties aren't mutual all the time. So just because I'm so my soul is tied to you don't mean your soul tied to mine. So you wonder why that dude that you're giving all this love and affection to don't feel the same way about you? Because he didn't tie his soul to you. Whoa! <laughs> he didn't do that! Sorry. Soul ties can be one way. I can tie my soul to you. That don't mean you tie Jules to mine. That's why you got a lot of people who go out here and get married and they don't love the person that they with. And one person going hard for the relationship and they wanted to work and all this other stuff. The other person don't really care. Because they have not tied their soul to you. And in a marriage, your soul should be tied. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, uh, 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 socially. The only one that you probably won't be tied to them is biologically. That's, that's the only one. But if I'm in a relationship with you, our souls need to, it needs to be a mutual thing. Because you can't really help a soul tie. You can't really control it sometimes. Sometimes we purposely force ourselves on people and we, we get obsessive with people. And then we expect our expectations, get our feelings hurt. Because we done tied our soul to them, so we expect for them to tie their soul to us and for them to carry themselves they, uh, the way that we carry ourselves in regards to them. And that's not how that works because the person is the person. They're going to do what they want to do regardless. Okay? So, how do you get rid of soul ties? How? If I'm biologically connected to somebody and... It's a generational thing. How can, how is it possible for me to not be tied to them anymore? How is that possible? Well, let me tell you. The first thing is pray for God to let you know who has been around you, who has gave you a negative soul tie. Because first, if you don't identify how you can't fix a problem that you don't know where the problem is. Because soul ties aren't always negative. So don't be out here. You about to be out here breaking positive things when you only need to attack the negative things. So you pray and you ask, number one, for discernment. For God to show you or take you back through memory. Mem memory. What am I talking about? Memory lane. Okay, take you back through memory lane of the people who have had a negative impact on your life. Sometimes it's not hard to see, but sometimes it's females. We protect men so often, and even as men, we protect females or the people that we love so often that we blind ourselves from seeing that they're negative. 
So we can't even heal this area because we won't even accept the fact that this person that we love and we care about and we trust is negative. I don't care if it's your mama, your grandmother, your brother, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your sister, your cousin, your, your auntie twice removed, your best friend from, from kindergarten. I don't care. We got to stop making excuses for people because the more excuses we make for people and try to make them positive when really they are negative in our life, the more we suffer because we're trying to hang on to negativity and we're trying to uh, uh, help people who, who can't even help them daggone selves. We got to stop doing that, especially women. Women, we want to put on that, that we want to put that S on our chest so bad. You want him to, to give his all his whole life thanking you for bringing him out? No, man, you not Jesus, God, or none of the disciples. Why you think you need accolades for bringing somebody out or something? And you still in your mess. And you still tied to all of these people. Some of us are tied to people from 30 and 40 years ago. And you know the number one way to get rid of a soul tie? Forgiveness. Because a lot of things we take on and we hold on to. You start forgiving some of these people, you can be detached. The mess can be detached. And we also can deal with the, the problem at hand. So if I know that I got a negative soul tie from this person and he made me insecure, now I know I can work on my insecurities. Insecurity, the, the insecurity is the, 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 the thing he tied to me that I didn't want. So I'm going to address the insecurity because a lot of people, they give us these, these issues that we didn't ask for, which is a level of, of a soul tie, right? Because your souls are connected. So whatever they soul is going through, you going through. You ever been in a, in a space? I'm going to give an example. One of my cousins, okay? Me and my cousin was so, 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 so close at one point. To the point where if I was going through something with a boy, she was going through something with a boy. If I got a job, a new job, she got a new job. If 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 one day we, we can come in on a Sunday with the same outfit or the same hairstyle, it's, it's subconscious because our souls are connected. Socially. Biologically. Emotionally. Because we, we've exchanged stories and hurts and heartaches and all type of stuff. Physically, because I hug her, I, I dap her up, you know, that's that's my cousin. That's how it works. So, I'm going to give y'all some homework. While I'm shuffling these Oracle cards. Because I, I got some good feedback from these Oracle cards. These are really funny and they're cute. I got them off Amazon. And they just like me because they, they say whatever they want to say. And it's unapologetic. It, it is what it is. So... Um, the homework is, I don't, if, if you are spiritual, if you're not spiritual, if you're a Christian, if you're not a Christian, whoever you believe in, whatever God you pray to, pray to him. Okay. And tell him to give you discernment of spirit. Tell him to show you the things about you that are in your soul that are negative that you need to clean up. Okay. And don't look for an answer immediately. Sometimes. You know, with God, because I'm a Christian, so all I can talk about is God, all right? Sometimes with God, he doesn't show us things immediately because we're we not ready to handle it. Sometimes we're we not ready to handle it. So whenever he discloses to you the information, make a difference, okay? All right. So I'm just going to pull one. Ooh. Ooh, this is uh... it's dark and you can't see a effing thing. Get your head. Out of your bottom. This is turning into what I just said, ma'am. Okay? You've been living your life. 
exchanging soul ties with people that you don't need to be tied to and you've been in the dark okay it's morning time sis the light is here okay use this light that god is giving you to make a difference to change because a lot of females we want to feel different like we we don't want to be walking around all negative and have all these issues we want to come out of what we're going through but we can't because we get so comfortable being in the dark it's safe in the dark because i know if i don't move if i stay in this little corner nothing's going to mess with me or sometimes i'm safe in the dark because i can't see what's wrong so it makes me, in my mind, I can play tricks with my mind and make it seem like nothing is wrong because I can't see it. When them lights come on, all of that, that trash on the floor, you got to address it. All that mess that's around you, you got to address it when the lights is on. And what we don't realize is when you finally clean that room and you get that trash up off the floor, it's clear. Everything you can see. You don't gotta live in the dark. Why you? Why do we rather be in the dark than address the things that that bring us to the point that we are? I don't get it. So this video was a little longer, okay, than I actually wanted it to be, but it's cool. Y'all know me. I'ma post everything. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Poker speaks. More episodes to come. More videos to come. Um, there's a lot of things that I have in store for you all. Um, make sure that you, again, like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that um, bell at the top so that you are always alerted to whenever I post a new video. Follow me on social media on Instagram at underscore Shay with two eyes, one, two. Um, cut these souls out, y'all. If you need any further assistance, my inbox is always open. My DMs are always open. Leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you can relate to this video. Um, and also, leave a comment with some topics, some things that you guys want to talk about. Um, I think my next video is going to be a Q&A. So under this video, please leave some questions that you want me to answer, some issues, whatever you want need to talk about leave it down in the comments below i love y'all happy healing to you all and cut them so ties love y'all